Hey everybody, we're back. If you're new, thanks for joining us. I'm Shannon. If you're not new, thanks for coming back. I'm freaking out. We're here, okay? We're here, we're here, we're here. It's plastic surgery day. Um, I don't know what all I'm gonna record. What I do have is some before footage that I'm going to try to put next to after footage so you can see what that is. And I'll go over my before measurements and after measurements. I don't know what all I will get while we're inside there. Um, but my husband just dropped me off. The kids are napping in the car. Um, they're gonna come back and get me. And, um, you know, I'm just, I'm freaking out. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared. Like, I'm really nervous. Um, but let's just go in here and see what happens. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good. I'm scared. You're scared? Yeah. How many did they have you come today? Two. They asked me to come in a little early. Well, thank you for, thank you for coming. No and problem. who just dropped you off? My husband. Oh, okay. Um, because I'm going to get some information okay. from you. Okay, it's the next day. Um, when we got home yesterday, I was just so out of it that I couldn't film anything. I, I threw up a few times. I was nauseous. Um, the pain is not that bad. It's more so the nauseousness and the dizziness that really keep getting me to where... Um, I just am struggling. I don't normally throw up or get sick, but I did. I did kind of throw up a, a good bit considering I did not eat anything at all yesterday. Um, for some reason, this side of my face is like numb. My cheek really reminds me of like if I had been at the dentist office. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Um, I'll try to do my measurements later because right now I have the Faha on and I can feel foam and padding inside there so um there's no point in doing measurements now i can't really see a difference i don't think as far as like a smaller waist or a fatter ass i feel like some of the swelling did go down from yesterday um but we are about to head to the doctor's office for the post-op um appointment and i'll see y'all there okay i know i look rough people we're in we just got in the post-op appointment. Um, I'm not supposed to be sitting on my ass, but I'm clearly um, sitting in this wheelchair. And um, I don't know what we're going over today. My husband had somebody come out to the car to help me. Uh, Cause when I stand up, I get really dizzy and like super nauseous. Um, but I kind of hope we take this Faha off and these pads. Oh, someone's coming. What is your name? Shannon. Shannon. Okay, got Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping that they take this Faha off and um, these pads so I can actually see what it looks like because I honestly can't tell anything. But I'll be honest, I'm sitting, I'm sitting on this chair and I haven't actually just sat down. Um, even in the car, I use my pillow and my ass is really starting to hurt now. Um, so I'm going to need to, I'm going to need to get up. Okay, I got up. Um, I wanted to show y'all the real. And I think, um, I think there's a major difference between the power assist liposuction and regular liposuction because I'll be honest, um, if I'm just laying on my stomach on the couch or I'm laying on my side, I feel fine. My body doesn't even really feel sore unless I move. I I really feel fine. But it's like right now I'm getting um I'm getting dizzy because I stood up. Um and I'm getting really dizzy. But I think there's a big difference in the power assist liposuction versus the regular liposuction. So if you have the option to look into power assist, I would totally, totally do that. Let's see. I was gonna. Okay. I mean, that's padding in my butt. Um, so, so obviously, like, that looks like a grandma butt, right? But there's a lot of padding um, in there. There's padding in my stomach also. Um, I don't know the measurements for this. I just kind of felt like it would be pointless to, to get the measurements. Um, I tried to. But to get the measurements while I have all this foam stuff in here. My arms are really sore, um, but 
Oh, somebody's coming again. Okay, so I'm leaving the office. Y'all have never seen me look this horrible. I know, I'm sorry. Um, but I'm leaving the office. They took out the pads that were in there. They just pulled them out. And I have an appointment for end of May, something. Um, but um, I can shower and everything. And when my foam falls off, I can just, you know, the foam just falls off. But I have to come back in a few weeks to talk to him. He showed me like the before and after pictures. And y'all, let me tell you, my ass is looking pretty freaking good. So there's that, but I gotta go home. I haven't eaten in two days now, or so I gotta just, I gotta go lay down. So we'll be back. Okay, y'all, it's day two and I'm actually feeling really good. I can shower tonight. Um, I kind of feel like this video is like reminding me of the Blair Witch Project video because it's kind of all over the place and I'm just giving random updates, but I'm just trying to let y'all know how it feels each step of the way, but I can shower tonight. So I'm gonna shower. I'm not dizzy. I'm not nauseous anymore. I have been eating. I'll have like a half a banana, um, half a muffin, and then I'll come back to the muffin and I'll eat the rest of the muffin later. I've been drinking a lot of water. Um, the side of my mouth is still really swollen. So the doctor said I can shower and when I shower, I should take my faha off and just lay on the bed butt ass naked for 10, 15, 20 minutes before I get in the shower. And the foam pad that I have um, is glued to my stomach. Eventually that will come off on its own. But um, because I can't go and get massages and the massages are supposed to be really helpful, what I'm going to do is um, get some cabbage. Now my arms are really swollen, like my forearms, my hands, they're really, really swollen. Um, and when I was pregnant with the big kids, I used cabbage after I had them because my feet were swollen to the point where it was like extremely painful and I was on the verge of going to the doctor for it. But I plan on doing that when I lay down in bed after I take this faha off and putting it on my arms and then I'll have my husband um, put it on my body, like on my back. I'm going to be laying on my stomach, on my back, wherever there's not incisions. I don't know if it matters um, if you put the cabbage on top of an incision, but I'm just not going to do that. So that's my plan to help with some of the swelling. And I've been trying to walk around and um, drink a lot of water to help with the swelling also. But I will come back with an update after and get my measurements and everything after I take my shower. Um, just wanted to give an update because I don't know y'all, I'm high, don't judge me, okay? Okay, everybody, it is day three, so it's Monday, and I had the surgery on Friday. I feel pretty good. Um, I got up, I took some medicine, my husband went to work, so we did our regular morning routine. I cooked all the kids breakfast, I cleaned everybody up, we went outside and played, I cleaned the kitchen, I cleaned the living room, um, and I haven't taken more medicine since I got up on uh, around seven, and it's lunchtime now. I'm feeling pretty good. I do feel a little bit drained, but um, I mean, I'm well enough to take care of all of my kids and not be concerned that I'm going to be overdoing it. So that's a plus. Um, I wanted to go over the before and after measurements and then do um, side by side so you can see the actual before and after so my hips before measured 47 inches and now they are 49 and a half. So they only went up two and a half inches um, here, but realistically my butt is bigger and they took fat from right here. So um, it seems like that's not a big difference considering my ass is pretty big right now, uh, but they also took some fat from the front. My waist is was 44 inches, it's now 39. So it went down five inches so far. And right now I do have um, padding in there and um, that's glued to my stomach. So that also, you know, makes a difference in addition to the fact that I'm swollen, but it's gone down five inches um, in general. My waist above my belly button because I got the liposuction um, upper and lower. So up here, it was 39 inches. It's now 37 and a half. So it went down two and a half inches. Again, there's foam there. My um, breast, because I got the liposuction in the bra line area, 
was 40 inches, 40 and a half inches, and it's now 40 inches, so it only went down about a half an inch, but I really wasn't expecting to see large numbers there because there's, you know, it's not like there's a lot of fat there. I just wanted a smooth look. And then my arms were 14 inches. You'll see in the next clip, they were super flabby. Um, you can't tell now because I have a full faha on, but they were 14 inches. They're 13 inches now. They've um, gone down an inch. I'm really swollen. I am swollen to the point like my forearms and my hands are swollen. My cheek, this cheek is really swollen and I can tell because if I was to bite down, I would bite the inside of my cheek. Last night, I was able to take a shower. My husband helped me take my faha off. I have a full faha and then I have, um, this one is like for my arms and um, then this one with the ass part cut out, but he helped me take it off and it was kind of painful because where the incisions are, like I guess the blood kind of dried to the faha. So I got in the shower and soaked for a minute and then we pulled it off, but it was pretty, it was, it was getting a little rough and I started getting dizzy because it was like too much was happening. I took a shower and then we had to um, blow dry the foam. The foam is glued on and when the foam falls off, it just falls off. But it took a long time and I was kind of like this, blow drying it, because I tried to stand up and have my husband blow dry it, but just standing there, um, I was getting dizzy. So I leaned against my bed and I just blow dried it and that took a long time. So um, I'm not going to be, I normally shower every night, I'm not going to be showering every night because that's a long process for washing your garment, showering. My husband had to help me put the garments back on and it was a little painful. It wasn't super painful. Uh, getting it over my ass was really painful. Um, and when I did put it back on, the swelling has gone down significantly. So um, this Faha has two um, hooks. So I was on the first hook. I've actually been able to make it to the last hook now. So clearly a lot of the swelling has gone down, but I still have a few weeks, um, probably up to six weeks. So, you know, five and a half more weeks before I actually see the swelling, like myself looking pretty normal. My ass has this kind of weird shape because the faha I have on, it just has like two holes cut out and everything is compressed and then your ass is just bulging out of those holes. Um, so it looks crazy. Like I keep thinking it looks like a fucking, sorry, sorry I said the F word. Um, I keep thinking it looks like a granny booty, but, um, you know, with the Faha not on, it just looks like a really big ass and it just looks painful. It's red and super, super swollen. Y'all, I'm not down to show you my whole ass, but um, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely um, red and bruised. It feels really hard. It reminds me of that Nicki Minaj song where she says something like, oh, it's finally soft. Like, yeah, when does it actually get soft? Because that sucker is hard. But let's go ahead and get into the before and after clips. Okay, so I'm going to try to do an update in a week so we can kind of track how the swelling goes down and I don't know, just in general, this whole process and journey. And um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who reached out, who DM'd me and said that they were praying for a speedy recovery and just checking on me and everything. I super, super appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell and all those good things. Bye.